What's going on, guys? Waco from Revolution here with Frederick Arno, CEO of Tag Heuer in sunny, scenic Singapore for LVMH Watch Week. First of all, thank you for coming to our country. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Hi, Wei. We are very glad to be here for the fourth edition of the Watch Week. Uh, since the beginning, uh, it was meant to uh, travel around the world. Uh, and after COVID, uh, we really wanted to come to Asia, and Singapore is an amazing hub uh, to welcome uh, all of our Asian and also Oceanian markets. Thank you. Well, well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Before we get started on talking about the new watches for 2023, uh, however, I have to give you an award for a watch that you created last year in 2022. It is for the Aquaracer Super Diver uh, 1000, and that watch was our best diving watch of the year. So congratulations, sir, and here you go. Thank you so much. So proud uh, to uh, receive uh, this uh, award, and this award uh, really goes to the teams. I mean, it's uh, a product that we, uh, we worked on for uh, over two years. Uh, the Super Diver uh, with uh, this uh, Helium Escape valve, uh, this amazing design and the new movements with the five-year warranty. So I'm super proud and the, t the team that Tiger can be part of this award. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. You know, so the first watch I want to talk about is the watch on your wrist, the new Monza with flyback uh, and the skeletonized dial. And you know, but I, what I love about this watch is I feel it's almost an extrapolation of this incredible historic carbon fiber Monaco that you did for Only Watch a couple years yep. ago, right? Like I remember when that watch w released, it kind of like broke the internet because it demonstrated how you could take the iconography of one of the most famous, you know, most legendary watches of all time, but push the story forward with incredible new groundbreaking technology. I mean, tell me first about that watch and then tell me how you feel some of that spirit is imparted in the timepiece on your wrist. Yeah, thank you. So it's actually the third uh, piece that we're releasing with the carbon uh, a fabric case. The first one we did in collaboration with uh, George, George Manford. Exactly. Uh, that was uh, al already hugely successful. The second that only watch, where we thought, okay, we want to have a very technical, modern expression of the Monaco using carbon in all its forms. So on the case, uh, and also uh, it was present in the um, uh, hairspring yes. with uh, carbon nanotube. Right. Uh, but uh, there was always a frustration. Actually, this is such a cool design, such a cool expression, but in such limited uh, quantities. Right. Now we want to bring it uh, in a piece uh, that uh, will we'll be here to, to stay, uh, to stay uh, on the longer term in the brand. Uh, and uh, uh, that's how uh, we thought of bringing it back uh, with the Monza. You know, I absolutely mm. love the details of this watch. I love the, the skeletonization. I, I love the sort of tinted sapphire that you have for the two counters, the chronograph minute counter, and of course the continuous seconds counter. I love the fact that the date is luminous as well, which is such a cool yeah. detail. But the overall look of the watch is phenomenal because I feel that this is going to be a super important timepiece when people look back in history. It's going to be the, the watch that you know, really pushes the story forward and gives you the confidence to create watches that are wholly of the new world, wholly technology-based, wholly innovation-based, even though you're paying tribute to things that are historic, you know? Tell yes. me a little bit about that and how it represents the future of Category. Yeah. Um, when we talk to uh, our collectors, fans, people that are passionate about the brands, uh, about some of the key pieces in our history, uh, Monza uh, was one that came uh, uh, very fast and uh, we uh, always had in mind to uh, uh, bring it back uh, but we didn't want to bring it back as a faithful reinterpretation. Uh, we thought if we bring it back, it has to be modern, to feel avant-garde. Uh, the shape uh, was already very modern and avant-garde, so we didn't need to make any changes there. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, to project it fully in modernity, what was missing uh, and what we're bringing there is uh, the case material and uh, uh, the uh, uh, design on the dial. Uh, as you mentioned, this uh, skeletonized and also uh, the tinted uh, sapphire uh, subcounters. This actually uh, uh, took um, many years uh, to develop these tinted uh, uh, sapphire subcounters um, uh, in our own uh, um, uh, dial factory, Articad. Yes. Mm. Phenomenal. So let's go from that, which I think is a, a wonderful sort of glimpse into the future of the brand, to a watch that in some ways is the final chapter of, uh, of, of another era, and that is, of course, the 60th anniversary um, Carrera. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this watch, first of all, it is the famous Panda. It's one of the most famous references from the vintage uh, watches, and it's such a wonderful expression of the history of the brand. But it also kind of um, cements a last era of this specific case. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Um, to celebrate the 60th anniversary, we thought, okay, if you have to choose one watch in the history that right. best represents the whole of the Carrera collection, which could it be? So that was a very difficult question to <laughs> ask, and we asked it to, uh, well, internally and some of our key collectors. Uh, and uh, surprisingly, from uh, different people around the world, uh, this piece uh, came up uh, quite naturally. And so we thought, okay, it has to be uh, uh, this reference. 
um, we had a, a case, the story nine millimeter case that we had reintroduced uh, a few years ago. Uh, and so we thought, okay, uh, let's make it a re-edition, 60th anniversary uh, uh, limited edition. Um, but as you mentioned, um, it's even stronger than that because uh, this announces the end of this construction. Right. Why? Uh, because since we, we reintroduced it, uh, there was always the feeling that this is just a re-edition and it's just vintage when the strong appeal for this design that takes inspiration from the original look and uh, we want to really uh, install it in our current collection that it has its own place in the Carrera chronograph uh, and that's what we will be uh, releasing in Waters and Wonders. I won't talk about it more now yeah. but uh, I, I won't talk about it either because I know it's under embargo but I have the opportunity to, to just look at that that family and I would say in terms of the spirit of what you've done with the Monza there is a similarity in terms of that spirit that it just moves the story forward with incredible confidence and it's so cool looking so guys that's something to look forward to as well um, and let's go from that to a watch that in, in fact kind of combines two of my favorite things so I remember when you launched the Aqua Racer my favorite version of it was the you know the sandblasted titanium version yeah. which, which of course I have a I have one of those watches and I absolutely love it with the green bezel for a three millimeter exactly. uh, dive watch yeah. exactly and which with the lumen two different colors to give you the, the, yes. the diving indications the yeah. time indications right and then I also love the solar wrap which you launched last year as well which um, is uses the enhances the power power of the sun to drive um, this watch forward. And with this carbon uh, bezel. Absolutely. And what I really love about this is, is, you know, you were talking about how, you know, people have in some ways forgotten that there can be innovation related to quartz as well, right? There can be innovation related to, to also the ethics of the future as well, which is to consume as little as possible. And when I heard that, you know, two minutes in the sun gives you enough power for one day of this watch, I find that to be remarkable. When I find out that it's 15 years for a, a change of the battery, I find that to be remarkable as well. Tell me how this watch represents the future and kind of the best of what Tag Heuer is able to offer. Mm -hmm. Quartz is a very important segment for us. And there's many customers that uh, love uh, what quartz uh, brings versus mechanical. Uh, it's more precise. You don't need to wear it for it to work. So uh, you can leave it in a drawer for uh, many months and then you take it back and uh, it will be uh, at the right time. Uh, there was one drawback, which is having to change the battery uh, every three years. Yeah. And now we solve uh, this uh, issue due to the solar technology. Because as you, as you mentioned, we don't need to change the battery uh, um, in 15 years. That's incredible. Uh, if uh, the watch uh, is, uh, pres is um, presented to the sun uh, in a frequent enough basis, uh, but uh, uh, with just a few hours under the sun, it works for uh, six months. Uh, and if it stops working because it was not uh, exposed to the sun, in just a 10 seconds, it will start uh, functioning again. Uh, Solograph for us is the future. Uh, we have it present in two references today, but uh, we will release it in more of the Accuracy collection uh, going forward. That's amazing. You know, and what I also love is how slim this watch is as well. Yeah. I mean, you're able to use the quartz technology. The watch is so wearable. I was just in, in Hawaii, uh, you know, like hiking up mountains, and I was like, I wish I had one of these on my wrist. It's, it's absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah, I was mentioning the benefits of quartz. That's another one. Yeah. It doesn't take as much space as a mechanical watch right. with an amazing level of quality. And so uh, uh, when we designed this watch, I thought, well, let's make it thinner. We can. There's no constraint on the movements like we would have on a, on a mechanical. Y y you know, uh, Frederick, uh, you gave me a hint um, when we were in Monaco last year about um, your next only watch, the only watch that is coming for this year. Um, and I've had a few discussions with you and my mind is like, is blown. Like I think it's gonna be one of the coolest things of all time. Uh, it's going to be a type of chronograph that, you know, that it, when I think about it, Tag Heuer should have always made and yet has never made. Yeah. And that's going to be the watch that's offered for this year. Are you excited about that? I'm super excited. So I was going to give a few hints, but I think you gave already uh, <laughs> the best hints uh, that could be for this right. watch. Uh, and uh, it's a new movement, high complication. Um, the first, probably most obvious you would think of doing uh, as a chronograph, uh, and we will be investing heavily on the chronograph uh, complication uh, going forward. I won't uh, say more. Right. Uh, it's a movement, but it will also be a new material in the case. Wow. Some changes in the shape, the design of the Monaco. It's a very exciting product. Amazing. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, record year for uh, Tag Heuer. Uh, you know, uh, uh, congratulations. You can feel the energy and the dynamism from this team. You have an amazing group of guys and ladies, of course. Um, what's the secret? Uh, and you seem also to be really enjoying yourself and maybe it's also the capacity to enjoy yourself and have fun that is resulting in such fantastic watches. So tell me what, what, what's, what's, what's going on uh, team-wise at, at Tag Warrior? Why are you doing so well? Yeah, thank you. Well, um, I'm very proud. We're very proud of uh, uh, all the products we launched. Uh, also, uh, all the communication 
and uh, that's accompanying all these launches. I think we have uh, uh, one of the most uh, creative and exciting communication uh, associated with this launch. And uh, that is due to uh, the amazing teams that we have um, in the product department, uh, the design, the research and development. I mean, we invested heavily in uh, reinforcing this team in the past uh, uh, few years uh, and uh, all the creative team uh, in uh, uh, communication as well. No, you guys are all, you know, uh, you're just absolutely killing it. So, uh, bravo. Thank you for joining us here in Singapore. Congratulations on the new watches, and we can't wait to see what you have in store for us for the rest of the year, although this is already impressive. Thank you so much, Wei. My pleasure, sir. Yeah. Cheers.